be our first playthrough of Palea. I hope you guys enjoy me playing along. Hopefully we can get some of you playing with me during some of these recording sessions. And because it's in beta, we may see some things in this game that's not fully finished yet, but I am looking forward to getting to know this game to its full potential as it grows more and more throughout the year. Let's go ahead and just start playing it. First off, I must say that this is really, really pretty. Like looking at the flowers and the windmills and the sounds and the music, I just love the art. It's giving Studio Ghibli. It's everything that it needs to be giving. Village values, which is very cute. I think this is adorable. Be a responsible neighbor. Be a kind neighbor. Be a helpful neighbor. Every player is new at some point in their Palea journey, and that's okay. We will work together to help new players and welcome them into Palea and the community. I agree. Now, where should I start? It's giving Dreamlight Valley. Okay. Choose body type like this, sure. Do I get to build my character today? I'm just gonna live here in the corner now. Let's build our face. Okay, I think the first face is my face. Actually, I really like this face. I'm gonna do darker blue eyes. They have so many cool voices. <laughs> is that my voice? Let's do that one. Let's do hair. This is cute. I like the chop. That's fun. Primary color, secondary color. If I can have pink in my hair, it's a done deal. It's a done deal. Dye patterns. Oh my gosh, we're gonna make it more pink than it's than it's than it already is. I really like that. Oh, I really like this clothing. Ah, there's so many cute outfits. I think these tops are speaking to me. This top in this color, maybe some purple pants. And I think I want it to be purple so that it matches the hair a little bit. Oh, and then of course, we gotta have some fun eyelashes and stuff. I love this. Wow, 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 I love. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Just, I like it. Okay, finish look. Getsy Ebbles, yes, that is me. Okay, I love it. Out into the world, I have high hopes for what you can accomplish. God, hello? Were we just in heaven? Oh, butterflies, I love butterflies. Gosh. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Wow. Is that supposed to be like a phoenix? Probably. Oh, cute. Oh, wow. Oh, this is how, that's me. That's me. That's me coming from the heavens. That's me, that's me, that's me. Okay, I was like, what is happening? This is me coming from heaven. Okay. <laughs> this is so cute. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> We've made it. We've made it into the world. So let's see. Oh my dragon. Okay, this is Gina. Did... Did you just materialize from nowhere? I want to say I came from the void. Oh, oh, tell me more about the void. None of the other humans remember where they came from. So this is kind of a big deal. Sorry, that's all I've got. Right, we'll talk about that later once you're settled in. We should slow down. Why don't you take this map and head into town where you can talk to Ashura, the innkeeper. He's been helping others like you get settled in. I would help you myself, but I'm working on something here and I am this close to figuring it out. I was so caught off guard, I realized I forgot to introduce myself or explain why I'm here. My name's Gina. I'm an apprentice scholar researching these old ruins. And this here is my research assistant, Hecla. Be sure to ask her if you have any questions. I've got to get back to the grind. I love it. I want to talk to... Hecla. Would you like to communicate? Would you like to communicate? Yes, I would like to communicate. This is so cute. Hello, human. I know you must have many questions about your spontaneous emergence. Your presence heralds much change in the world. Palea, who are you? I'm Hecla. It is my duty to aid and protect the young scholar known as Gina. Aww. We have stumbled upon you during your routine excavation of the ruins of this ancient human city. This occurrence comes as a great surprise to young Gina. I, on the other hand, found it inevitable. You are bound to return one day. Why not today? Return? What, is, what does she mean, return? Goodbye, human. Goodbye. This is so beautiful. The attention to detail and the music, though, is so nice. We did it. We jumped. Walk or jump onto the climb. I'm gonna jump onto the fence. Yeah. Yes. I love the jumping aspect. I think that's pretty cool. 
The cutscenes are everything. They're everything. Wow. Oh, it's such a cute game already. I'm obsessed. I love it. 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 Look at the water trickling through. Alien navigation. Important objectives like quests are tracked on your compass, which is up above here. Items outside the compass are behind you. Uh, rotate your camera to change your field of view, okay? Okay, moving on. The bird noises are so cool. I love this. I could just stare at the game. Can we just stare at the game? I don't even want to play. I just want to stare. It's so pretty. I wonder if we should head left or right. We gotta find our person. Oh, okay. Ashra. We're gonna go this way to the left. Look at a little fireplace. That's really cute. I just want to look at every little building. Like, look at that cute little building. Look at this cute little gazebo where we can sit down. I will say the game is just a little bit laggy, but I kind of expect that. I just want to go. Let's go into town, speak to Ashra, and then we can go from there. Tish, why are you cutie? You're so cute. Tish, why are you so cute? Tish, I'm obsessed. Oh my god, look at the cute little town and all the bug sounds. Like, it sounds so good. How cool. Wow, everything looks so amazing. Okay, I assume Ashra's gonna be in here. Okay, there's Ashra, yeah? That's Ashra. Welcome to Kilima. I'm Ashra, the innkeeper of Ormu's Horn. Unfortunately, there isn't any room at the inn right now, but we do have some old plots to the northeast where you could build yourself a tent. What do you say? You wanna take in the great outdoors? Nothing like sleeping under the stars. The night sky here is beautiful. I'm sure you'll love it. So let's see. To build a tent, you're going to need to collect some materials. I've got an axe here for you, but you'll have to talk to our resident miner, Hodari, about the pick. Lucky for you, he's checking out the plots right now. You'll want to take the road up the hill to the northeast where I've marked the spot on your map. If you get lost, just come back here and I'll get you sorted out. Okay. Few things need my attention. Okay, a few things need his attention. We're going to have to go back the way we came. We'll follow the little map up the hill, up the road. I love the blue flowers. The blue flowers make me really happy. Blue flowers, red thorns. Anytime I see blue flowers, I'm just thinking about Shrek. Blue flowers, red thorns. Blue flowers, red thorns. I just want to hop over everything. Look at the hydrangeas. Like, look at how cute those are. Oh, look at us rolling up. I love it. I love this. Oh my god, what are those? <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, hello, sir. Who are you? Talking to me? I love his voice. Oh my god. No, the voice actors and everything are all so good. Hmm, so coming along. A lot of trash left, though. Oh, hi. Is it Hodari? Hodari Pavel of Pavel Mining. What can I do for you? Am I in the right place? Hi, I'm Getsy. Getsy, huh? Interesting name. I assume Asher sent you over. I've been sending a lot of new folk my way lately. Since the whole reason I'm checking out the soundness of these campsites don't need you all buried in mud. In fact, this one's ready for you to use if you want. Just needs a bit of work. I see you've got axe already. Here, take this pick too. Always good to have the right tool for the right job. Use them both to clear debris, would you? Minnan's hungry at work, so you better take this too. My daughter says I need to eat healthier, but you'll get use, more use out of it. Let's, let's try pickaxing, yeah? Nice. Okay, loot. Ancient thing, three stone. Oh, I see mushy rooms. Okay, let's return to Hodari. Oh, I did not mean to ax at him. Oh, I found this weird thing. Huh, I found a lot of strange things in the mines, but not sure what this is. Well, you found it, so you keep it. So your plot after all. I've got other plots to inspect, but there should be space to drop this work table down. I suggest you focus on getting a roof over your head and a place to keep your things before you worry about glowing tubes. It's pretty malleable. I like that. I'm just going to put it at my entrance like that. What can we craft? Makeshift tents. I need some more wood and we need plant fiber. So I assume we're going to need to chop down trees to get wood and plant fiber. Hopefully we can get our tent built before sunset. It looks like it's still morning in the game. Oh yeah, it's 8.48 a.m. in the morning, which isn't too bad. So we needed 15 wood and plant fiber, which I think we have almost enough. I made a chest. Storage is always good. Now I need my wood. I keep hearing cute little animals. 
and I'm excited about it. I've heard that you can get pets in this game too. Hopefully we can get like a cat or something for our little, our little space. I wonder if I can loot things outside of this area. Like, can I do this? I can, okay, I can use this whole space to get materials. Okay, now we can make our tent. Let's do that. We need, oh, we still need more. That's okay, that's okay. We'll cut down this big tree. Hopefully it'll give us more. Oh, we need to upgrade the tool to do big trees. That's fine. We'll just do the little trees for now. We can get through little trees. Okay, now I think we have enough to build our tent. I wanna fix our little sign too. That would be good. Let's make this. Now we have a tent. I need to clear an area though. So before I can place it, we have to clear out some space. So I'm just gonna clear all of this for now get rid of this stone and then i'm pretty sure it'll be good after that the animation is pretty good i it's pretty smooth i like it now i think i can place my tent for now it's just gonna go there and then i'm gonna put my little chest right outside it's great storage solution quest complete friend, talk to ani when he visits your plot oh here's a friend here's a friend be exploring you are so cute. Oh my God, not the missing tooth. Dude, the game devs have really, really done a good job. Like the personalities are so wide. Look how cute. Whew, good, you haven't left yet. My mom Delilah told me there was another new human in town and here you are. I ran all the way from the farm here. She wanted you to have this housewarming gift. Fresh dairy from Daya Family Farm. Welcome to Kilima. I love it. I wanted you to have your mail. I'm Ani and I handle all the deliveries around here. Twice a day, every day rain or shine six in the morning and six at night so i think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting do you like getting mail you look like someone who would like getting mail i love getting mail good then i bet you'll be happy with what i have for you come on go check it out here's your first mail delivery ever i do have mailbox okay check my mail dear gutsy i've been informed by gina that you have emerged fully formed from this swirling mist this is wonderful news happy day of <laughs> mist birthing to you new human other humans call me in there or in our and i would like to share with you the joy of fishing please take this rod into your possession and seek me out at your nearest convenience i shall be located at the pier for the next few millennia to whom it may concern City Hall requires I sent these letters to new residents. You will find a bow and a set of arrows in the attached package. City Hall also requires me to tell you that I am available to tutor you in their use. During work hours, you can find me, Kilima Village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. Hassian, okay. Okay, Hassian. Return to Ani. Talk about it. Oh, Ani, I'm so sorry. I keep almost axing them all in the head. Jeez Louise. Ani, I love you. You're just... You're adorable. So how you settle in? This plot's huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our yard last week, but all I have ever seen to find are rocks. Well, I found this strange artifact. Does a weird glowing tube count? Oh, wow, it definitely counts. Have you figured out what it does yet? Not yet. Hmm, I bet Gina might know. She's always hanging out in ruins. You should see if she's found something like this before. Oh yeah, I forgot. In all the excitement, I brought a present for you too. A Bug Scout's official belt and a set of smoke bombs too. I'm a member of Kilima's best and only bug catching club. You're kidding, this is so adorable. I gotta run now, but if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them. But I bet you're hungry right now. You should talk to my dad, Badru, to learn how to grow food and Raf, who works at the inn, can teach you how to cook it. Okay, so Badru can teach us how we can grow food and then Raf can teach us how to cook it. You know, everyone's waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race you out. So far, I really like this game. It's pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe we should learn how to garden first. So let's do that. Let's figure out where to garden. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We could just jump off the side of a cliff and be totally fine. Because that makes sense. <gasps> what is that? What is that? I love it. Getsy, I presume. Don't act stunned that I know your name. I know everything that goes on in this village, including when someone new arrives. My name is Hassie, and I am in charge of maintaining the natural order of these woods that surround the village. Be good to the valley, and we will have no quarrel. Use natu nature poorly, and you'll find I know how to rid this village of all sorts of pests. I like to be left alone in my thoughts. I find myself to be all the company I need. Perhaps you should learn to become more comfortable in your solitude. We're not going to talk to Hassie right now. Also, Hassie's little dog is so cute i'm i'm obsessed that was the wrong that was the wrong person that's not who we were going after at least let's learn how to farm today like that that would be nice bad roof come Nothing here beats so this is produce oh Daya. so this is ani's dad i'm pretty sure this is really cute well if it isn't another friend i haven't met yet i'm badru the farmer 
and I sense we have some good times ahead. Not the not the pun. I love this game already. This is adorable. Okay, let's learn uh -huh. how to farm. Did I mention in addition to farming, I also do stand-up comedy? I love you. Can you teach uh -huh. me to garden? You've come to the right place if you care it about fresh quality produce. Well, we do care about fresh quality produce. Honestly, I'm impressed to see you going after what you want. If I had that kind of gumption, maybe I'd be doing more with my life than just making ends meet. <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Farm life's great, especially if you love the smell of Ormu manure in the morning. I'll admit, it's a bit of an acquired taste. Tell you what, meet me on your plot later and I'll walk you through the recipes. Uh, looks like you're ready to swing by Kenley. He's our mayor, so he'll get you set up with a new house. Awesome, let's chat with Badru. Potatoes are the worst crop to harvest. Stop holding the hat, you cutie pie. Oh my God, you are so cute. They're so low to the ground, they really throw up my Looking back. Forward. Let's find Reth. I would assume that Reth is gonna be in the inn. Yeah, let's go. Oh, Reth looks like a cool yeah, dude. Big. Okay, look out, Reth's a cool dude. I'm, I'm gonna be, I like Reth. Oh, hey, you're one of the newbies, right? Uh, Name's Reth, but you can call me Trouble. Oh dear, not being Trouble. In addition to being bad news, I also provide Kilima with delicious soups and stews here at the Ormu's Horn. Stop by later, yeah? Always happy to chat with you in a friendly face. Let's chat with Reth. Hacian stops by here every day to play cards with Ani. Hacian's actually, like, sweet. Hacian's not as, like, mean guy as we think. I think he's just putting up a front. Kind of surprised me that he's taken such a liking to a little guy. Before that, I thought the only thing he wanted was a place to contemplate how much other people disappoint him. Oh sad day. Okay, let's learn how to cook. Whoa there, you gotta learn to walk before you can swim. Unless you're a fish. But I'm like 97% sure you're a human. <laughs> Just, there's a 3%. There's a 3% that I could be a fish, I guess. Why don't you start out by making a campfire for your place? Once you start grilling up shrooms like a champ, we'll get you started on the complicated stuff. Oh, if you don't want to be stuck in a tent for the rest of your life, probably a good idea to talk to Kenley next. He's the mayor, but hey, I won't judge either way. He's pretty kind, pretty kind. Let's find Kenley. Talk to Kenley about getting a house. Look at just Hassian. Oh my God, look at all the characters. Hassian and Badru. Are they just all going to the, I think they're all just going to the, to the inn here to hang out. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see. Our mayor, Kenley, is in this building. That would make sense. I like it, I like it. Ah, okay. Kenley, my guy. Oh, he's kind of cute and sweet. Greetings, I am the Honorable Kenley Bahari, the firstborn son of the late Kenji Bahari, the 118th Duke of Bahari Province, mm. and brother to Kenyara Bahari, the Duchess of Bahari Province. I am the mayor of this fine village, and it is a great pleasure and honor to welcome you here among us. A house, and you're a... Uh, you're asking me, well, personally, I inherited mine. Have you tried that? I want to build my own. Oh, oh right, yes, of course, because you have just moved in. No matter, I'm sure I have the paperwork around here somewhere. Just give me a moment. Oh no, where is it? I shall tell you what, go find Tish, our resident carpenter. I'm sure she'll be delighted to get you started on some nice furniture while I locate those forms. Let's go talk to Tish. Look at, oh my God. No, I, I look at this. Look at the view. It's just so beautiful. What time is it? Oh, it's already 4.20. We gotta get a move on. We gotta find Tish. Okay, we're gonna go out here and then Tish seems to be working. Oh yeah, in the furniture shop. That's pretty helpful with the chair on there. Tish, hello? Tish? How are you liking Kilima? I want to be Tish. I want to be Tish so bad. Tish is... I want to be Tish. Tish is so cute. Why don't they have hair like that for our characters? Maybe someday they'll give us pretty hair like this, but this is the aesthetic we all want. Hi, welcome to the Valley. I'm Tish and I run the furniture store. Are you new in town or just passing through? I just moved in. So exciting, but also tough. When my brother and I first moved from the city, it took us a little time to adjust. Well, more than a little in his case. Oh, not her face, not her face, it's so cute. But if you need help with any of the locals, don't hesitate to ask. I know I'm a bit of a grump whisperer in these parts. In front of the store, highlights our rotating collection. I always love getting new pieces from vendors all over. Palea, I'm so glad you're going to live here. I was trying to come up with a good welcome gift. Then I realized a house isn't much of a home without furniture. Oh my gosh, is she gonna give me stuff? That is so sweet. So here's some simple recipes for you to start with. If you're tired of, from all your hard work, why not build yourself a place to sit or a table to eat at? 
my friend Jell insisted you have a wardrobe too. He's a tailor and he always says, looking our best makes you feel our best. Even if there's something you can't make now, I'm sure inspiration will strike as soon as you start building. That's gonna be me. I'm gonna be making all the clothes. I want it all. Like, look at that. So it's all rotating things. You can buy all these things, but how do you make money? I assume you make money by farming and stuff. That's so cool. And then there's Gina. Perfect. Just like that. Oh, my dragon. No, she's adorable. The way she talks is so cute. It's so, so cute. Hey, Getsy, it's good to see you again. Did you get settled in all right? Actually, I found something you might be interested in. Really? Wow, I can't believe it. This thing is an ancient flow battery. These were the power sources for ancient humans. I've been looking all over for something like this. And you say you just found it under some old junk? I guess I'm lucky. Well, this is certainly my lucky day. It might take me a bit of time to figure out what this does. I'll send you a letter once I know more. Let's chat with her as well. It's so beautiful out here, don't you think? I have to admit that while I didn't pick my research location for the picturesque setting, it certainly is a bonus. So we basically just have a couple of quests to do for our next time. When we come back for the next episode, we're gonna build, we're gonna do the spiffy it up quest. We're gonna do the cooking 101 quest. We're gonna build, we're gonna place our items like the chair, the table, the wardrobe. We're gonna craft the fire pit. We're going to learn how to farm and we're going to learn how to use our bow and arrow and hopefully adjust on learning more about this game, which I'm really excited. Thank you guys so much for hanging out in this video today. Let me know what you think about this new game. If you think it's wonderful and it's your new obsession, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're interested in watching me either play this game on stream or play Disney Dreamlight Valley or any other cozy games, you can catch me on Getzy on Twitch as well as all my other socials. It's good to see you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.